I've been wondering, Agent Wilson, what's our control and profits in the less fortunate hoods? Sir, less fortunate hoods? When little Boo and Shanene and God knows what other names they come up with, they're driving better cars than I am? I think they're doing great. Well, we're gonna be inserting a new guy. Somebody who we have a little more faith in. Somebody who has a little more soul. I want Knock Knock's head on a platter. I don't want that fucking gun up his ass. Knock Knock, bitch! I want an explanation of how we can lose a hundred kilo of Pablo Juan's dope. I need to know now, are you in or are you out? I ain't helping you worth shit. Tell me where the fucking cartels are hiding stash. I don't know. You know something. So yeah, uh, I was thinking, uh, you ever killed a man before?
time comes when you have to do what you gotta do. But then there's time of pleasure, which I'm sure we can all relate to. So yes. Yes. Well, I feel like getting some things off my mind. Things I've been holding on for a real long time. And I'll tell you right now that I probably killed about 40, 50 men in my life. I've been holding there for a long time. You're the only man I ever told. Climb come out the bowling alley by himself, walking with his lady, had his kids with him, and uh, crept up on him. Didn't see him coming at all. Stuck him right in the throat. He had to be dead in about ten seconds. How about you? When I was hitchhiking, it was fun. Driving across uh, cross country and whatnot. You could uh, see a lot of things, visit a lot of places. A lot of things could happen on the open road. But, uh, fuck, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, shot two guys. A bullet hit them. Like you know, I was in the field, and uh, one guy his spine split, and that motherfucker just kind of flopped around for a second. The other guy, uh, I think the bullet hit his neck. I didn't really get time to check, but I know he went down because his head looked like it almost fell off. I don't know. Why are you talking? Killed another man. He was asleep. Didn't see it coming. Followed me home from the grocery store. Cause he looked at me funny. When I got on to his house, he was a big man. I guess he wasn't scared. He left his doors unlocked. So I just walked on up in there and I guess he was drunk, so he passed on out. And right next to his bed, he had a, a hammer with a broke off tip. And I took that motherfucker and popped him right in the forehead. Shit split right down the middle like an orange. And that's when I felt like something was wrong with me. It was uh, 2008, I think. And I was in some little shit place, but up close personal is fun. I like it. We had to walk through, shoot anyone else still alive, finish up the jobs. One dude collected heads. Something about their tongues I like. Collected tongues. Tongues were always fun. Women, they had good points. Kids were the best though. Take those. Scalp those motherfuckers off. Some sick little twisted fucking magical shit. I don't know. Hard to find dead kids though. You just gotta make your own rules. Don't be scared to cross the boundary. So is the other motherfucker. And his homeboy. Went out to Texas and shit to go see my auntie. She was sick and shit, had that cancer shit, you know. And uh, I get out there, man. These motherfuckers start trying to run me off the road on the back street. And I didn't know if they was trying to pull me over, if they was trying to wave at me, if it was some family members. Didn't know what the fuck it was. So I'm looking at these dudes like, what the fuck is going on? 
So I pull over on the little road, roll my window down, see what they talking about. And they all, nigga, fuck you, you nigger, this, 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 this. I'm like, oh, okay. So I got out my car and shit. I had my piece on me. Got up close to him and shit. Smile on my face and shit. They still talking, fuck you, this and that. And I pulled my pistol off and pop both of the motherfuckers in their leg. And after they start screaming and shit, blood all over their fucking seats. I yanked both of their asses out. Get some rope out the back of their motherfucking truck. Tied that bitch to the back of my pulley. Trugged the motherfuckers all the way back to Cali. Started off fully clothed. Looked like I was carrying two cows or something in the bank. By the time I got 100 miles out, my number sticks and bones.